Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Craig, this is C-Shop Draw, and today we got an awesome one. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I got my Batman shirt on, so I'm gonna be uh, drawing a little, uh... I'm not, I'm, I'm not drawing Batman. All right, well, I'm, I'm doing Batman related. It's gonna be like Robin, or it's, no? No, it's not Robin. Is there anything? It's nothing to do with Batman. Why am I wearing a Batman shirt then? It's, it's winter. I don't have a winter. I don't, oh. Okay, here's Bucky all grown up. Here we go, drawing Winter Soldier. I remember this time to use the red pencil instead of the blue pencil. Last time when I was doing Cap, I have forgotten. And it may not have been the easiest thing to see at, when the video first started out. So, apologies. But the red... As you can see, it's, it shows up a lot better on camera, so remember to do it this time. So, you know, progress. Um, the next video I do, it'll either be a digital one or I'll remember to do red pencil. So going forward, uh, we should be pretty okay. Um, and then the paper you see is the Sea Shep Draw paper. Um, that, I just absolutely love the design on it. It's, I don't know, it, it's personalized. I like it. I just think it's pretty cool. Um, anywho, so since it's on that paper, yes, this was one of the pieces that was available at the comic convention that I just did on Saturday the 25th, uh, and someone did actually get this one. Um, so somebody signed up for the email list, and they ended up grabbing this one, so that was pretty cool. Uh, hopefully they enjoy it. Hopefully it's got a good home somewhere. Hopefully they're not just using it for target practice on something, because... That would make me sad. Um, but speaking of the email list and stuff like that, so I'm still going to have to uh, get that gift certificate. Um, but I already spoke with them. I know the gift certificates are available um, to Game King. So Game King is going to be um, where that gift certificate is to for the contest for the last one. So... If you're on the email list and you haven't entered the contest and it is not June 7th yet when you're watching this, you still have time to enter because I'm doing the drawing. I'll be doing a live video, like a live stream on either YouTube or Facebook or, or something. Uh, I'll figure out a platform that someone actually uses. <coughs> Maybe I'll do it on TikTok. Wouldn't that be great? Um, so... I'll be doing a live stream video and pick the winner and announce who the winner is. Again, just first name and the piece that they had gotten. That way there's no, you know, no one has to worry about identity and all that stuff. Um, and then I'll send an email to the winner. Now, if you haven't gotten one of these pieces, one of the free pieces that was at the convention but you still want to sign up for the email list. Now, you wouldn't be entered into this contest, but the email list is the best way to get entered into any of the contests that I'm going to have because I am going to start doing exclusives for the people on the email list. Um, I will basically be emailing every once in a while and just letting you know, hey, here's some new free artwork that you can get, and here's how to get it. So um, there'll be some things that you'll have to do, like go to my, um, my Instagram page or go to a certain YouTube video like you did on this one, well, this past one. You know, so there will be some things that will have to be done. And sometimes there won't be. Sometimes they'll just be like, hey, thanks for signing up. Here's something free. Why not? Um, those things will be exclusive to just the people that sign up for the email list. So, yes, that is more work from me because um, I'm going to have to do something that I can't put anywhere else. So this is just a drawing that no one else will see except for the people on the email list. But I also have to make stuff that people will be seeing so I can promote the artwork along with doing the books that I'm doing because that's what pays the bills. So... Just kind of a little sneak peek behind the scenes as to how things work. Uh, as you see with these videos, the drawing does take some time. So, 
although I wish I could draw as fast as I do on these sped up videos. This is like four times sped up. Uh, so it would be amazing to be able to work that fast. I think my hand would fall off though. That wouldn't do anyone any good. It's just drawing and then the hand flops off. Can't draw anymore. It's not good. All right, so I'm babbling, talking about falling off hands and stuff like that. That's probably not a great thing to have on a video. So uh, gonna get a little musical interlude. Enjoy the lovely sounds that Apple provides. All right, so I'm breaking out the brush pen. This thing is just such a time saver and just such an awesome, awesome tool. I once watched a video that was uh, John Romita Sr. and he was drawing Spider-Man and all of a sudden he busts out this. And the way, he, and if you can find videos of like the masters drawing uh, comic stuff, go for it, you know, like, um, I've seen him and John Byrne, and uh, there's, a, there's a few out there on YouTube that either they've done while doing some sort of project, or like someone is filming them while they're doing a convention sketch, and it's just a thing of beauty to watch. Um, it's actually one of the things that got me thinking of doing YouTube videos, because I just loved watching people draw so much, and I know when I'm sitting there drawing, People always like to watch me draw, so I was like, hey, you know what, maybe I should do this in a video. It was either that or I was going to be assembling decks, um, like attaching them to houses and uh, to pools and stuff. Uh, but then I realized I have no idea how to do that. I should probably just stick with drawing. I did the drawing videos instead, and I think that's just much better off. It was safer, first of all. I didn't have to buy as many materials because, from what I understand, lumber is kind of expensive. Um, and I probably would have ended up in the hospital. So, stuck with drawing. And I'm back making comments again. Because uh, this time I'm going in with the some markers, going with some grays just to kind of give a metallic feel to Bucky's arm here. And then, of course, a little splash of red. Because with these pieces, I kind of had the idea of each one, I wanted it to be a little bit something extra. So it's not just your typical, like, what you would get from me at a convention where, you know, I, I just draw something and maybe throw some ink in and it's really sketchy and, you know, I try to get it done in like 10 to 20 minutes. I wanted this to have, I mean, not exactly a finished feel to it, but something that makes you go like, all right, yeah, that that was a little bit more effort that was put in. Uh, so with this one, I figured, hey, if I can, you know, Put in some gray tones and then have that one little sparkle to borrow a, a Bob Ross thing. That one little sparkle with a red star on there. Figured that would work. So there you go, folks. That was me drawing Winter Soldier. Hopefully you guys liked the video, the artwork. I almost messed up completely on that. But hopefully you liked it. Uh, if you did like it, like, share, subscribe. You know what to do. You've watched videos before. This isn't your first time on YouTube. 
do all the things that all the people asks to do with the comments and all that stuff. If you have any comments on stuff that you want to see me draw, put that in there. I've actually, uh, one of the comments on one of my earlier videos was about Shazam. That's going to be up either next or right after next. Because I got another video that's sorry in the can. I might go with that one. I might do the Shazam. I guess we shall see. So until next time, folks, have a good one.